Hi everyone, on today's episode of Red Pill Garage, I'll be replacing the clutch fluid on this 2004 Toyota Hilux. All we need on today's job is our clutch fluid, our water, our 10mm spanner, a brake bleed bottle, and an air operated fluid extractor. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is remove the clutch fluid reservoir lid. And next, we're going to use our air operated fluid extractor to remove the fluid. If you don't have a tool like this, you can buy a syringe from your local chemist to remove that fluid. And now we're going to remove the plastic float in the reservoir. This limits the surface area of the clutch fluid and reduces sloshing or movement. Also helps reduce moisture from the atmosphere as the clutch fluid is hydroscopic. In simple terms, the clutch fluid attracts moisture from the air. You can now see all that sludge in the reservoir. That's got to be cleaned out before we go to the next step. You can use a lint-free cloth. Okay, once cleaned, you can now pour in your clutch fluid. And keep in mind, the clutch fluid should be flushed every two years. Okay, next we're gonna get under the car and try to find the clutch slave cylinder, which is always bolted to the side of the gearbox. With our 10 millimeter spanner, we're going to crack that bleed nipple loose so we can bleed the clutch fluid out of the system. Make sure the hose is a tight fit on the bleed nipple, otherwise it will blow off. This will cause air getting into the clutch hydraulic system, causing it to have a spongy clutch pedal feel. Okay, this next step is important. Make sure the bleed hose is sitting higher than the bleed nipple. If the hose was to sit lower than the nipple, it will suck in air when the clutch pedal is going up from the pedal bleeding procedure. You can now see that little piece of dirt going through the hose. Okay, now it's time to pump the clutch pedal. You want to make sure for the first round of pumps, you don't want to go past six pump actions of the pedal. By doing this, you're actually gauging how quick the fluid level is falling in the reservoir. You don't want to run out of fluid in the reservoir because this can be a real headache to try and bleed the air out of the system that just got drawn in. I've sped up the video speed and you can clearly see the fluid level dropping. After six pumps you can see where the fluid level sits. On the second round of pumps you can increase the pumps to approximately 10 to 12 repetitions but no more than that. You don't want to draw any air into the system and three rounds of pumps should be sufficient for a clutch fluid flush. Okay, now make sure you top up the reservoir before you get under the car to tighten the nipple because gravity itself will slowly draw the fluid out on its own, causing the system to run out and fill with air. This is very important to remember. Once you've tightened the nipple, just wash away any excess clutch fluid with water only. Next, place the float back in the reservoir and then top up your fluid to the maximum mark. And refit the lid once it's all done.
On its full travel up and down, the clutch pedal depression will feel nice and smooth. And that's how you perform a clutch forward flush on a Toyota Hilux 2004.